Well, um, every year we have uh, uh, we have a base of three scenarios. We have the current policy scenario, the new policy scenario, and the 450 scenario. And the difference is effectively what policies we choose to implement in each of the scenarios. In the current policy scenario, we keep uh, we take into account everything that's already been uh, announced, all the policies that have been announced by various countries across the world. In the new policy scenario, we take those into consideration uh, and make uh, an allowance also for stated policy um, objectives, things that have not been implemented at the moment, but which we think are in the pipeline. The 450 scenario comes at it from a different perspective. It sets uh, a target of 2 degrees Celsius for uh, global temperature rises, uh, and then works its way backwards to, sh to show what policies need to be in place to, to keep uh, greenhouse gas emissions to that trajectory. Uh, now, every year we also have uh, reactive scenarios and cases. So, uh, previously, in, in the previous year, the, the, the big energy question was how long are oil prices going to stay low? Um, is there the possibility that this will be protracted? And so, we had a low oil price case, and that was also a sensitivity analysis. This year, um, following the uh, COP21 announcement, we have we're starting to, uh, uh, to, to, to look into the, the possibility of a well below two degrees uh, scenario as well. Uh, this is formative, it's nascent, but this is something we're looking into.